Yeah, we, we have we have a good word that Takas has been playing a lot of DK this tournament, including in his uh, set against Mad Rush. All right, okay. So we are getting into it. Ooh, really nice tender touch there from yeah, Takas. Ooh, might be it. <laughs> just knows exactly when, when D-Boss was gonna jump and really just punished him. There's nothing you could do about it after he made that commitment. Right. D-Boss, slightly fiery player. We'll see how hard he goes in against a, a player known to be one of one of the best in North America. And we're seeing both players really respecting each other's grab ranges. Tacos playing it. Fair, like nothing too strange. Okay. Uh, get up attack. I I count that as good for the boss. That yeah, that wouldn't have been a stock even if he'd landed on B because DK oh, is can he get the oh eight. the armpit hitbox nicely done. Almost any hitbox except the forward one of forward air there would have been the boss kill didn't move. chase. And now he has to win neutral again. Yeah, Divos, he's playing really safe. He's doing a really good job of or in neutral. Wow, okay. Yeah, nicely done. Knows that that'll trade at minimum. But not that able to get air, the, Yeah, it gets the reversal in the neutral air. I I can't help but wonder if he was hoping to land on stage or edge cancel that. Okay, or Maybe he was just right. hoping he'd kill. Yeah, he knew back air would trade with anything and, and kill him on that, so that's a pretty easy kill there. Ooh, okay, nothing from Tacos there. Surprised we didn't see the up air, but defensive up B. d -boss has been sort of struggling to land a, a decent hit or a good grab. Okay. Oh, I thought the down B was coming out. Yeah, and right there he jumps away instead of going for a grab. I guess he was afraid of the tornado. Yeah, wow, Tacos. Tacos' timing on that is so good. He really makes sure, like, he uses it at a time where, like, there's nothing they can do about it. It covers ledge. Yep. Okay. There's the grab. Starting up the wheel. Okay, this is the, this is the part of this matchup that's pretty bad, right? Like, right. Falcon can get a million up airs after a forward throw on DK, and it really makes it's kind of like a he Kirby needs every up one tilt. Of them. Yeah, it's. D-Boss dancing, but Tacos just knows exactly where to catch him. Yeah. Wispy yeah, being Wispy really annoying. Really helping D-Boss out there. Yeah, you can't do a lot that you want to Ooh, great nice. DI from D-Boss. You can't do a lot you want to do on the ledge sometimes when, when Wispy's blowing like that. Yeah, you got to show Wispy some respect. Ooh, okay. A lot of times you get up air with DK, and you don't necessarily have a follow-up, so it's just there. This, though, okay. Yeah, all right. That'll be game one for Tacos. Looks like we're going to get DK all the way, folks. I hope so. Hey, if he if he doesn't have any reason to switch off, right, I don't know exactly. Why he would. So here we go, game two, right back. And we'll see how D Boss reacts to that game one loss. Like, I would anticipate that he play a bit more conservatively and not try quite as hard to go in as often. Uh, it seems to be more or less what we're seeing. Yeah, both of them playing really patient right now. Not much to say. Um, Taco's really looking to occupy top plat. Um, it's a strong place for him, even though Falcon has the threat of up air. Uh, down air, ooh, great up B from Taco's. This, a Very lot of this quick. match we're seeing is hinging on just like extremely, extremely tight spacing in neutral. It seems like Takos is getting a lot more first hits than Divos is. And so as a result, even though Divos is able to survive a number of them, Takos is able to come up with a stock Taco, again. Takos looking really, really good. His spacing is just really excellent. He's making sure, yeah, as, as you said, he's getting the initiation before Divos really can. Just being so patient, like he's sitting in a corner and just like jumping. What a I'm mash! Afraid. What a mash! Wow, two, two matches in a row. row. Yeah, that was great. 
to the up air, no hook. So this is one of the few extended sequences we've seen where D-Boss is in control and he's right, able to come yeah. up with it. And again, we return to fairly tight spacing. Yeah, we do see Tacos staying on that top platform. D-Boss trying to shark, but also trying to respect the down air. All right, he gets the grab. Yeah, he got to plat really early, so I think that he was afraid he couldn't rack up all the damage he needed unless he reset. Mm. Uh, Wispy helping out Tacos with oh, D-Boss. Okay, D-Boss, coming it. back in this, yeah, not getting worried by the fact that, you know, he's, he's only got two left. Okay. Yeah, it looks like he's starting Even to figure game. a couple things out. Oh, very good. That's a good opener. But Tacos turns it around on him. Up E? Oh, okay. Oh, I, for a second, I thought that DK might have gotten hit. Yeah, all right. That? Yeah, so D-Boss going to have to show us something fresh. If, if D-Boss gets back it. thrown, he could lose He could lose the set. He could lose everything. <laughs> you can't really add the gravity of saying it's like tournament stock when it's cool. It's so annoying. <laughs> But this yeah, is this not, is not really knowing, important for D-Boss. Um, not knowing his cool history, this might be his tournament stock. Yeah, it's true. I, I imagine D-Boss is looking pretty well in his pool. He's definitely seeded top four, and Tacos is the number one in his pool. Um, right. So this could just be for first and second. But either way, it's going to have implications for top 16 bracket. No way. Yeah, D-Boss no is, no is hanging on for a, for a while here. Yeah, He's yeah. been in a good position. Being very patient. Tacos on his hind yeah. foot. Taking top flat. Nice forward air. It looks like Takos has continued to be extremely slippery. But there you see D-Boss seeing just outside of grab range. Takos' patience in the corner is actually crazy to me. Yeah, like, it's such a dangerous place for DK, but he just doesn't look, like, uncomfortable, really. Like, Yeah, he's, he's unflapped. Not a good trade for D-Boss. Yeah. Just picks him up off the no-tech. He got hit the right way on the tornado, so he's still in this. Okay. He's got the initiative. He's going to go for forward throw, but hard follow up there. Yeah. Oh, that was a critical up air. I think that I can't see things set ending well for him if he missed it. Taco's trying to take that Another top space. Counter. Yeah, D-Boss at this point just sort of effectively reacting to Oh, that, that should be it for D-Boss. Yeah. yeah. It looked like he was starting to figure it out. Mm -hmm. I hope he's able to get some maybe some friendlies in later because that